Wow, this is extremely busy. Look at this. Unbelievable. I thought that if I go a bit earlier, <laughs> that I will escape this, but no. And another one. Wow. <laughs> Hello, guys, and welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm going on my second ride today of the year, starting it at the same location as the as the first one. But I'm going a bit further this time, uh, around 110 kilometers to my father's home village, because I have some landscaping work to do there. Um, yeah, just to clean the area up a bit uh, I'm gonna stay there for around two days so I'm gonna go on a, on one more ride when I'm there probably on some gravel roads as well so I can finally start practicing that because I really need to uh, to feel more comfortable but yeah that you'll see that when I'm uh, you'll see that in the in the next video this this time I'm gonna, in this video I'm gonna ride to, well, to my father's home village and I'm gonna stop at a few interesting locations, interesting sites uh, along the way. Finally this one has stopped, the truck has moved away. Yeah, I'm gonna stop at a few interesting locations along the way, uh, also have to fill up for the first time this year so yeah really looking forward to it to today's ride it's a bit cold around 10 degrees should be around uh, maximum 12 so yeah it's not not too bad so as I said the first destination now will be a gas station um, and yeah let's go Okay guys, a gas station, which is just before the, the first destination. Okay, let's fill up and then we're good to go. There we go. Okay, I have full. This is my little setup, which I'm gonna show you after because the car is waiting. Okay, first gear, have everything closed. I think I do. Also, you saw me getting off the bike to fill up, and that's because I got a comment that it's safer to do so to to get off the bike so I didn't even think about this uh, before a, a viewer commented under the video that it's safer to do so because you can get you can uh, you can pretty much burn get burned if, if the if the gasoline gets on fire which is probably not that common <laughs> it's not that much there's not much chance that this uh, will ever happen but it's a possibility so okay now we're pretty close to the 
to the first attraction that I wanted to stop at so let's ride should be just a couple of minutes and yeah let's see all right guys you can see it here <laughs> from here already look at this the massive thing look at this wow unreal okay there's a parking let's just stop here for a second guys I flew the drone a little bit uh, just to see the, the chimney from above but I didn't didn't um, I forgot that it's that the drone flying limit here is 120 meters so uh, yeah you can't go beyond beyond that and the chimney is 360 meters high so <laughs> yeah and also it's quite tricky with all the power lines here around everywhere they're pretty much everywhere because this was a power station uh, opened in 1915 the first the first uh, time and then the second second time uh, it was rebuilt and opened again in 1966 and yeah this is just the yeah the main attraction here around i would say the highest chimney in Europe, 360 meters high. Also, some uh, Slovenian climbers, famous climbers, pro pro climbers, climbed it in 2020 for some kind of movie. And even before, people just illegally climbed it because it has a ladder. And yeah, they just went all the way up there. Okay, so now let me show you real quick before I continue the setup. For today, I bought this 30 liter backpack um, to replace my tank bag. At least on longer rides um, and when I'm alone, so I can just uh, use these rock straps. As you can see, very literally the best thing ever, <laughs> the best invention ever. Such a simple strap, but so so great. Um, yeah, I can just un un um, unbuckle these rock straps and yeah, have it as a backpack, normal backpack, which which it is. But yeah, if you have many stuff in there, many things, it it gets quite heavy. I think so. This is a nice solution. For now, <laughs> it's holding up pretty nicely. If I have a when I have my when I'll have my uh, saddlebag with me. I will just put it on the saddlebag on there and on top and yeah uh, that's pretty much it so okay this was it for the first attraction <laughs> such a warm day how much is it now I, I removed my uh, oof, 21 degrees I can't believe it must be heat from the bike as well like always but yeah very very warm i don't know how how far the next destination is let's see wow this is extremely busy look at this 
Unbelievable. I thought that if I go a bit earlier <laughs> that I will escape this, but no. Okay, let's go after this one. Okay. One last look of the chimney with Slovenian flag. We're out! guys at the Reichenburg Burg Castle here we are Such a quiet place, really, really relaxing to just sit, drink a bit of water and just not think about anything. Boats parked here. just a nice area no people even though there's a full parking parking lot behind me <sighs> really nice so let me tell you a bit about this castle Reichenburg or Bristanica castle so Bristanica is there the village there to the right maybe I'll go up to the castle just to, to show you uh, up close but yeah, this castle was built in the 12th century. Um, it was also used by, by the monks. After that, after the, its initial use, um, then it was used during uh, the Second World War by the Nazis for, uh, as a deportation camp for Slovenes, Slovenians. Uh, yeah, after the war it was nationalized and used as a as a woman, woman women's uh, correctional facility something like that I think and yeah after that I think in the 60s at the end of 60s uh, it, they, they used it as a, or they're still using it uh, to show the exhibition about the 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 deportation camp and I visited it also before some years ago and yeah you have all the old belongings basically from the people who 
who had to, to go into camps all over Europe. So yeah, let me not drink this water till the end and to the end and then we continue our final stretch to my father's home village. Okay, let's plug this back in like that. Navigation is already going. All right, guys, I added the the castle as a stop. So let's ride. Hello, <laughs> let's ride up to the castle and then back just to to show you a bit up close oh, this bike is just a a beast honestly so here's the castle on the hill let's see somewhere here i will have to turn left this is quite quite a tight corner here look at this Will I be able to do that? Let's hope. And another one. Wow. Hoo -hoo. Didn't do corners like that in quite some time. Didn't write. hope I'll be able to to get without any cars coming from the other side oh, okay I think we're up already only this last last car Here we are. Maybe I can take a photo here. It'd be even better, I think. Or not. Yeah, let's make a photo. Now that the parking lot is empty, let's do that and then we continue slowly. Okay, we only have another half an hour and then we're there. So this is the Reichenburg Castle or Brestanitsa Castle. Here's a map of Brestanitsa or of Kershko, of the area. And they also have a chocolate store here Chocoladnica Wow, the bike is popping so much Wow Whew. And the last few corners There's nobody Okay, now Google Maps says I need to go over the street, there, on that road, hmm, let's see, that's a road I never, I never ridden on before, okay, so we checked everything, now the last thing we need to do is to get to the final destination safely, so let's go!
right guys and here we are we are here and we are done for today all right guys here we go finally at my father's home home village everything went smoothly as smooth as it should or as it could also spring flowers are already blooming so spring is pretty much here it is already full of them and perfect perfect um, perfect conditions for riding the temperature will also rise very fast now in the coming coming days coming weeks should be around 20 so this was it for for the video um, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna gonna go on a on a ride here around uh, like a short ride with some gravel road with some gravel roads um, just to practice a bit so this will be the next video you'll see and this was it for this one so if you enjoyed the video you can give me a like subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and yeah thank you for watching see you in the next video bye